What the when Young fuck? Thug came into the rap game, a lot of people called him a Lil Wayne clone. They had a similar sound, and Thug made it clear that Wayne was a huge influence. At one point, they was on the same label, and Thug was even mentored by Birdman. But then they started beefing, and Thug allegedly tried to have his idol killed. Bro, the nigga shot up his tour bus. Here's a win. Allegedly. It all started back in 20. They exposed that shit in the Rico trial. Allegedly. When Thug announced he was going to name his debut album, Carter Six, to pay homage to Wayne. At the time, Wheezy was talking about retiring and dropping the Carter Five. So it sounded like. And Thug he ain't, he ain't respect. drop it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Retiring album, Carter Six. It all started back in 2014. He ain't dropped that shit till 2018 or 2019. Some shit like that. He was going to name his debut album, Carter Six. And that nigga ain't retired yet. At the time. He dropped like one more album and dropping the Carter Five. So it sounded like Thug was just trying to show his respect. They performed together at South by Southwest just a few days before, and everything seemed cool. But the name of Thug's album soon became a big problem. Around the same time, Thug was linking up with Wayne's mentor, Birdman, and it was rumored that he signed with Cash Money Records. No, nigga. Actually, it was confirmed that Thug ain't actually signed with him, but Birdman, Thug, and Rich Homie Quan created the group Rich Gang together. Birdman and Wayne been locked in since Wayne was just 12 years old. Birdman took of him course. under his wing and helped him become a superstar. Of course. The relationship got complicated, and around 2014, they started having major issues. The Carter Five kept getting delayed. Them niggas were beefing? I ain't know that. Them niggas were Weezy beefing? He got tired of waiting for cash money to drop it, so he went on a huge Twitter rant. That shit been delayed for label. like three years. One of the said, to all my fans, I want you to know that my album won't and hasn't been released because Baby and Cash Money Records refuse to release it. Then he said, I want off this label and nothing to do with these people. But unfortunately, it ain't that easy. I am a prisoner and so is my creativity. Again, I'm truly sorry. I don't blame you if you're fed up with waiting for me and this album. But thank you. At this point, Wayne only had problems with Birdman and Cash Money. But then Doug's label, 300 Entertainment, announced on Twitter that his album was going to be called Carter Six. And this is when the problems between Thug and Wayne really kicked off. After 300 broke the news, Wayne's daughter, Regina Carter, said, Is he trying to be funny with this Carter Six? Because it's pretty childish to me. Try again if you're even trying to get on my father's level. Wayne went after Birdman oh, and Cash man, Money daughter. with a $51 That's million a dollar lawsuit. Man. And then he started sending shots at Thug, too. By this time, the Carter Six cover art was revealed, which showed Young Thug naked. During a performance at a club, Lil Wayne told the crowd, Stop listening to songs of n****s who pose naked on their motherfucking album covers. He ain't call out Thug by name, but everyone knew who he was talking about. I'm not trying this shit. Nah, fuck it. The next day, Thug got on Instagram and made it clear. That's sassy ass pose. That's sex though. He said, That's big sex. Pause. About his career, and I feel him on that. But this is my idol. I won't ever swap words with him or beef with him about nothing. This is a person I look up to. Y'all know that's a lie. <laughs> I understand that Lil Wayne is frustrated about his career, and I feel him on that, but this is my idol. I wouldn't ever in my life swap words with him or beef with him about nothing. This is a person that I look up to. I ain't gonna lie, this is a perfect example of don't meet your idols, bro. Don't meet your idols. I want to meet my idols, but dog, I know they're not the same person as they are behind that camera. Like, don't meet your idols. Then the situation took a weird turn the next day when Thug posted a video on Instagram promoting his album where a voiceover said, Big killer, young young fucking money. F you, I'll kill you. It ain't clear what it really meant, but two days later, Thug made a more direct threat towards Wayne. Oh, April shit. April 14, 2015, Thug announced he was changing the name of his album to Barta 6 just three days before it was scheduled to drop. Supposedly, Wayne was ready with a lawsuit if Thug kept the Carter Six title, so Thug switched it to avoid any legal drama. Can't name the mixtape Carter Six because he f***ing. I was gonna say like, we don't know what the fuck was happening in the background, but like, shit, <laughs> shit. He he said it. He said it. That lawsuit was gonna go to crazy. Like Y'all thought career was gonna be over with that shit. Big old blood, so I'm going by the six. But that same day, he made another post to Instagram that showed him pouring up lean and announcing the show in Holly Grove, the hood Lil Wayne's from in New Orleans. At the end of the video, Thug made an interesting threat and said, beat me there with them too. Yeah, why is Carter Six coming out Friday, first show, New Orleans, Holly Grove. Beat me there, baby. Beat me there, you Over the course of a couple days, Thug went from saying Wayne was his idol and that he'd never beef with him to sending serious threats. Later that same day, 
Thug posted another video where he said, if you're gonna be a founder or a leader and respect when people look up to you, be that. If you're gonna criticize, what? be that. But don't mix your feelings, that shit weak. He eventually deleted the video, but at this point, it was clear that Thug and Wayne wasn't cool. Barter 6 officially dropped on April 17th, and Thug took a subliminal shot at Wayne on the track Can't Tell, rapping, boy, I'll leave you dead and call it dedication, which most fans thought was a shot at Wayne's dedication mixtape. Shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, what the fuck? This reaction ass, but what the fuck? Wayne clapped back a few days later at a show where he said, If there were any other albums that dropped recently, tell him I say suck my d God damn. No such thing as Carter 6. I ain't gonna, nigga drop Carter 6. Anyways, cause I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I was too young to know about this shit. God damn. You let him know, told you say suck my d The beef was eating up. And it was clear that Thug and Wayne wasn't going back down. Then, on April 26, 2015, things got deadly when Wayne's tour bus got shot up in Atlanta. Everybody know that shit. I, th I think um somebody snitched on Thug. Somebody snitched on Thug most of saying that Thug was the one who, who said to do it too. Like, everybody know about that shit. That night, Young Thug was performing at Southern University in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. But the crowd obviously wasn't taking his side in the beat. They started yelling wheezy and f you at Thug and booing him. <laughs> he told the crowd, I still love you, but Wayne's home state wasn't rocking with him. At the same time, ah, Wayne was performing damn. Thug's uh -huh. Nobody fucks with you. Before this nigga got arrested, the grip that he had on us was crazy. Free sex, the dog. Crowd, I, I don't care. You. Free sex. But Wayne's home state wasn't rocking with him. At the same time, Wayne was performing in Thug's home city of Atlanta. And he got it even worse. After his two tour buses left the venue, someone pulled up and shot him up. Lil Wayne and a bunch of his affiliates was all riding together in one of the buses. But luckily, the shooter missed and no one was hit. The police okay. ended up arresting a dude named Jimmy Winfrey for the shooting and charged him with aggravated assault. Terroristic threats, possession of a terroristic firearm, felon, threats, and criminal gang activity. Yeah, that nigga ain't game free. Was Thug's road manager at the time, and police say he's trying to move up in the ranks with the Bloods by committing a high-profile shooting of a rival rap artist. According to the police, Winfrey confronted a Wayne outside of the club after a show and told him, "This is my city. Keep fucking around. I'll spray the bus." Then the Atlanta police separated them and rushed Wayne's crew to their bus. They tried to arrest Winfrey right there, but he managed to get away and hop into his Camaro. The tour bus had a police escort for a minute, but they broke off when the bus hit the interstate, and that's when Winfrey pulled up and started dumping shots. According to some sources, Young Thug called Winfrey eight times in the 12 minutes leading up to the bus shooting, and Winfrey called Birdman right after. In a leaked phone convo, Birdman says to Winfrey, come out and get your money. Young Thug and Birdman never got charged with being involved in the shooting, but the bus driver from that night ended up suing Interstate and after Winfrey pulled up and started dumping shots. According to some sources, Young Thug called Winfrey eight times in the 12 minutes leading up to the bus shooting, and Winfrey called Birdman right after. In a leaked phone convo, this nigga Birdman, right, been mentoring Lil Wayne since he was 12. Go up on switch on Lil Wayne because because of a new artist. Almost try try to get Lil Wayne killed. Ain't no way. Like this nigga been like listen to the words coming out my mouth. This nigga been mentoring Lil Wayne since he was one, two, twelve. Right? Duzan. This nigga Duzan twelve years old. And he's gonna switch up. Lil Wayne was like 20 something. That's like a 10 year friendship. And he switched up. Birdman says to Winfrey, come out and get your money. Young Thug and Birdman never got charged with being involved in the shooting. But the bus driver from that night ended up suing both of them for causing pain, anguish, suffering, discomfort, medical expenses, and lost wages. But God it ain't clear damn. the situation ended up getting settled. Then, out of nowhere, the game hopped into the beef and said, my Toon, Wayne, ain't never been Hollywood. He's just Holly Grove. Anybody with Toon got a problem with me. 
I will f**k Young Thug up. Right here, two ain't never been hot in what he's just been hot in cold. Right. You know what the f**k it is. Right. What side is this motherf**k? Right. 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 Get that nigga out my face, bro. The game was good. Then, then he made a 10 minute diss on Eminem. Like, nigga, nobody listens to songs that long anymore, cuh. Like, the game was good at that time, but damn, that nigga fell off. Get that nigga out my face. I don't even want to see his ass on my screen no more, dog. What the see, fuck? You be a crip. Now you're you blood. <laughs> so I don't want no smoke with you. You got bloods and crips on your team. And you was a male stripper. <laughs> oh, so I don't want to fight you. I don't want no germs on you. And you know I'm in LA more than I'm a Schwarzenegger. He the governor. <laughs> and game shot back, threatening to have thugs. <laughs> <in the mirror>. Same. <laughs> I just Ain't no way. A video, you, you paint your nails like a. F I think he he deleted that video too. Girl, you call your name Bay, and you keep around. Gonna drive by that nail shop and light that motherfucker up. The beef between Game and Thug only lasted a day. Then JoJo Capone stepped in and helped him squash it. After the tour bus shooting, things cooled off for a minute. Then Thug came out and confirmed again he wasn't actually signed with Birdman and said, I'm gonna drop one more mixtape before my album. The album is called High Tunes. I'm gonna drop one more mixtape. I'll probably name it the Carter Five because the original Carter the Five. Carter came Five. Out I don't know what the f they do in slow coaching, so I'm gonna put that motherfucker out for them. Most fans thought the beef was only gonna get worse from that point, but a couple of months after getting shot at, Wayne said in the interview. I mean, you know, Slime came out and straight said that. When Slime came out and said that I'm naming my album such such and such because of props and because I'm such a fan, that's a total different. I'm approach. naming my album such and such because of props and because i'm a, such a fan and that's a total different approach okay. you know so i have to be just a, a monster for me to be like i don't believe you know? <laughs> so if he says from the heart and he say that he's some kind of fan then welcome i love him help thanks bro you know i, mean? I appreciate everything about it he's a fan he's after a that, fan the beef just kind of died out a few years after everything went down thug and wayne officially squashed it when thug was featured on the track out west from wayne's mixtape no ceilings three yes sir Recently, thug Gunna, 26 other YSL affiliates got hit with a massive re You see, like, the crazy shit is. I don't know what the crazy shit is. Shit is. I ain't gonna lie. I just, I, I was just trying to say some shit to sound smart, nigga. I don't know what the Jimmy fuck he talking about. Shot Wayne's tour bus. I'm low-key slow. If Thug was actually involved. It seems unlikely that Thug's role manager would go after a superstar like Wayne without permission from his boss. But nobody really knows what led up to the shooting. More info will probably come out when the trial actually starts, and we might finally get the full story. Did Thug really try to have his former idol murdered over a petty beef, or was Jimmy Winfrey just looking for a way to get clout with the blood? Thug's trial is scheduled for January 2023, and that's when all the details will become public. This story's still developing, so make sure y'all tap in for updates. That's crazy. That's crazy. I ain't gonna lie, Young Thug, like, they gotta free him.